The foothill yellow-legged frog is unique in California because it is the only river breeding frog in the state. Consequently, its life cycle is closely tied to the natural flow regime of the rivers it inhabits. As rivers have become increasingly dammed and regulated, ecologists have seen a marked decline in the sensitive species, prompting the state of California to designate it as a species of special concern. Uh, the foothill yellow-legged frog is native to California and Oregon and it has evolved in these streams and rivers. It's one of the only stream breeding species in North America. It uh, has really evolved to cue in on the snow melt. Um, so in the Sierras we get snow and that in the spring the snow melts and the frogs really cue into the period of, of that melt where the flows are gradually receding with the snow as it melts and the, the water temperatures at the same time are increasing. So when water temperatures reach about 10 to 11 degrees Celsius, the frogs generally cue into that, around that range, they start to cue in and begin to lay their eggs. And a female lays one egg mass per year, and about 2,000 to 3,000 eggs or more sometimes in each egg mass. And it takes about 10 days to two, two and a half weeks for an egg mass to hatch. And then after that, depending on water temperatures, it can be anywhere from two to two and a half months for a tadpole to metamorphose um, into an adult. Because, particularly in unregulated rivers, the flows do come up and down. There's diurnal fluctuations with the snow melting during the day when it's hot. That means the flows start to come up in the evening. And actually they peak around midnight, one in the morning, and then they come back down. And there is this gradual sort of up and down with the snow melt. Um, and because of that, the frogs really find these hydraulically stable areas in the stream where they can sort of, the eggs are protected and buffered from those changes in flow. Largely wide, wider areas in the stream like this, you know, tail out of pool or runs. Um, and they tuck their eggs largely under or behind rocks so that the, they're sheltered from the flow. But there is some small, you know, little flow that comes through to oxygenate the eggs and that's really important. So it's really, it's pretty amazing they, they pick these spots that, are, that remain very stable despite these ups and downs. Unfortunately, there are 1,594 dams along rivers in California, disrupting the natural flows that the frogs depend on to complete their life cycle. One of these is the O'Shaughnessy Dam, which is located along the main stem Tuolumne River in Yosemite National Park. The regulation of this river has had profound effects on foothill yellow-legged frogs that lived in its waters. Luckily, one of the Tuolumne's tributaries, the Clavey River, is undammed, making it a great home for remaining frogs, and an excellent baseline for flow comparison with the main stem Tuolumne. As seen in these hydrographs, which show the rate of flow measured in cubic feet per second, carried through the river over a given time, the main stem Tuolumne and Clavey Rivers have very different flow regimes. Where the Clavey River has a clear spring snowmelt recession, the main stem Tuolumne does not. Instead, we see fluctuating pulses, which are the result of controlled water releases from the dam throughout the year. But what does this mean for our foothill yellow-legged frog? Remember, the spring snowmelt recession that is characteristic of the seasonal flows in this montane system likely cues the frogs to breed, and is also a key part of their offspring's survival. Since egg masses require consistency in the depth and velocity of the rivers they are laid in, a dammed river such as the Tuolumne can prove to be a difficult place to survive. With pulse releases from the dam, the water level and speed changes throughout the day. This can leave egg masses exposed to the air for periods at a time or tear them from the rock they are attached to, causing death. Tadpoles that manage to hatch are also vulnerable to being washed downstream by fast flows. The good news is that there are management options for the foothill yellow-legged frog and dammed rivers. Water releases that mimic natural flows are a popular strategy to provide hospitable conditions in many rivers throughout the state. While this is not necessarily feasible for a river like the Tuolumne due to its high recreational value, it has been proposed for the middle fork of the American River. On the graph, the blue line indicates the proposed releases over a 17-day time period. This would create stable flows in which the frogs could complete their life cycles. Implementing management strategies such as this throughout California would provide favorable conditions for foothill yellow-legged frogs far into the future.